Welcome to the Adam and Sheridan Show video podcast, episode number 15. 15. We've made it to the Ides. To the Ides. The Ides, no, no, the Ides, the Ides is specifically, the Ides, as far as I understand my history, specifically only refers to the day Julius Caesar was killed. Who are you, Rob Olson? Thank you. No, no, the the Ides is the 15th of the month. Yeah, Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, so welcome hey, to this video we podcast. Love Rob. Yeah. Oh no, we I'm do. not. I'm not besmirching Rob. How he's, he's dare you contributed. Let's stop this thing right now, forever. This is the last Adam and Sheridan show, and it's over. Goodbye. No. Um. Get out there, get active, because we're a, not going to do it. There's a lot to talk about. We talk yeah. about an incredible amount of stuff on our radio show, um, wrfalp.com. You can listen to SoundCloud. It's 107.9 FM. Um, mm-hmm. Fridays at six and Sundays at eleven. If you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, we talk about a lot of different things. Specifically, we talk about this kind of uh, lawlessness for the elites um, and this, these tactics of intimidation, which have been have been um, used to to try and silence people who would dare offer dissent, or or even to those who wouldn't. So, yeah. to wit, um, David Miranda, who is the partner or the spouse, I guess they could think they're married of Glenn Greenwald, who's done some just fantastic reporting on the Edward Snowden leaks. He was actually detained by British authorities in in London's Heathrow Airport for the crime of traveling to Brazil by way of London from Berlin. He wasn't doing anything, but he was actually stopped under a terrorism statute. Yeah, the Terrorism terrorism Act of of 2000 and Statute 7 or, or something 7... Yeah, it was, it was Section 7, seven, section of, seven. Of, the two, uh, yeah, Thank you. of the Section 7, um, which basically says that if you are suspected of being a terrorist and planning on carrying out a terrorist attack at that moment, then the police can detain you for up to nine hours. So what they did was they detained this person who was planning on leaving British soil as soon as he possibly could to go to Brazil for eight hours and 55 minutes so not quite the nine hours they let him go for five minutes to have a coffee and to cry before because i mean he was threatened with prison and let us let, point out that he was not given the opportunity to speak to a lawyer nope he was not given the opportunity to speak to um his his husband glenn he actually um spoke to him through a agent whose name was not even given to glenn greenwald it was his badge number yep or his id number and it, I don't even know why they called Glenn. That'd I don't know terrible. why they, they called him up and they basically said, Probably we've got your didn't... husband, we're not allowing him a lawyer, there's nothing you can do about it, goodbye. Well, yeah, it's, it, it's to intimidate because mm-hmm. obviously he was, he, was, he was there because they wanted to say, Glenn Greenwald, stop. And Glenn right. Greenwald said, no, he you're going to regret what you did and I'm going to release cables. Showing your intimidation of the press is systematic. Right. He's going to focus <laughs> now more on... The UK England. spying then on the, yeah on the England yeah. spying as opposed to the US but no he's going to do both actually oh the UK you're so knowledgeable no <laughs> because I know the full name of the country <laughs> you know the initials of the country but basically the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland um, that's just what it is so so here I just I just sometimes sometimes I want to push you over during the podcast but. No. But Glenn Greenwald, he was not afraid at all. He was not scuttled at all. Um, you know, eventually David Miranda got back. They were at home at, in Rio in Brazil. And, and the, the British government decided that they were going to take this in stride and then go to the Guardian headquarters and apologize uh, uh, and, and, and buy everyone, you know, a nice lunch. Mm-hmm. Or... They made everybody watch as they destroyed every hard drive there. And the Guardian yeah. was great um, and badass because they said, all right, fine, destroy our hard drives. By the way, our network of reporters is around the world and they have all the information. We're not going to stop reporting, so destroy what you want, and the GCHQ. Same, the same is true of uh, David Miranda's um, cell phone and laptop and there memory sticks. All entirely, of that stuff yeah. is backed up. So yep. obviously this was done uh, to intimidate people who would dare dare dissent 
against the British government or the U.S. government. And the, uh, how dare you speak out against the crimes of, 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 these, of the government? And the U.S. government, their response was, we knew of the action, uh, but it was a police action. We had nothing to do with it. Yeah, exactly. So they knew of it, and instead of saying, hey, you're transgressing someone's rights, they were just like, oh... Just like we didn't know that Evo Morales' plane was going to be uh, uh, downed in Austria on the yeah. way to South America. So, you yeah. know, uh, what we have here, and this is, I use this word on the show, we have a, a creeping dictatorship. Yeah. If dictatorship is defined by what human beings within a government say the law is, as opposed to what the Constitution says the law is. And right now we have uh, a group of people in the executive branch who are are saying to hell with the constitution or to hell with whatever the statute says it doesn't matter if david miranda is clearly not a terrorist mm -hmm. we're still going to detain him under a terrorist law that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever and that's showing uh, a pattern of intimidation and a lawlessness for the upper classes there's mm -hmm. there's a story that we go over of a single mother who is displaced by the iraq war bringing charges in federal court in san francisco uh, for the Iraq War, which is said to be a crime of aggression. And the Department of Justice is saying, oh, all the top officials, Colin Powell, Condoleezza Rice, George Bush, uh, Tricky Dick Cheney, yes, we've taken the nickname and repurposed it. Mm -hmm. uh, they can't be held accountable because it was just their job. I like it to was call their blood-soaked, awful, horrific job. I like to call him Slicky Tricky Dick. That's too much. Yeah. Um, way we'll too try much. to combine, like, Slick yeah. Willie with... With Tricky Dick, and yeah, and bipartisan. Uh, and we had a we had a listener who was commenting on uh, Susan Adam's, Mira. Yep, yeah. Susan Mira, um, and she was talking about Adam posed the question, "Well, what do we do right. in the face of things like this?" I and she was very well. She was very honest. Yeah. She said she doesn't have an answer, and no, mm -hmm. nor do we. But one thing is for certain: the extent to which the creeping dis dictatorship stops being creeping and starts to become a steamrolling train engine of dictatorship, the extent to which that happens is determined by our ability to organize and rise up mm -hmm. and stop it ourselves. And by we, I mean the working class, the regular people that make up. Um, and why the working class? Because we're the ones that produce wealth. Mm -hmm. Without us, the, the, the owners of production can't make any money. They can't buy and out the politicians. And we're the large majority of people. Right. So you're either the working class or the poor, or the working poor, which is a, an increasingly large section of society, which is terrible, um, or you're an owner. So the, the majority of the people are in the working class or trying to be in the working class, mm -hmm. and there are a few people who are not. So obviously there's, there's might there, but Susan, Susan says that organization is keen. We've talked to this again and again. So mm -hmm. thank you, Susan, for commenting. Thank you very much. If you would like to comment and send us your thoughts on it, on this or any mm -hmm. other issue, Adam and Sheridan Show at gmail.com is our email. Yep. We check it daily. We do. Um, I check it daily. You check it every now and again when I send you a text. Yeah. yeah. That's a fair, fair assessment. Uh, we're also available on Facebook and, of course, Twitter, Twitter which we ignore. At Adam and Sheridan. <laughs> I shouldn't. I shouldn't. It's so important. Yeah. But I have ignored it. Um, uh, leave a comment in the YouTube section, uh, the comment section below here. Absolutely. Subscribe to our channel and get involved. Mm -hmm. We've had a drop off of watchers um, because we have become uh, pompous and boring. Yeah. So and please. also, some people have been saying uh, Adam looks like uh, he needs to get a tan. Uh, this is, by the way, typing. I don't know what, why. Uh, I've been told that I look like a, you know, a vampire or, or you know. Yeah, I have to specifically color correct for your yeah. face. And it, just to, to get to look like this. Look, yeah. yeah. So, but washed no. out. But no, get involved. Let us know um, if you have any ideas or answers to the question. Uh, what do we do about this? Because it's only going to get worse. Uh, yeah. Eventually, instead of David Miranda getting detained, it's going to be anyone who speaks out against the government, including myself, including Sheridan. And because who we, wants that? We have said some. We have said some inflammatory things because we believe wholeheartedly in the power of the people and being being dedicated and being being loyal to people, not institutions. Right. That is. That is all too often lost in, in this country, in this yeah. world today. I don't know where I was going. You, you did a fine Failed. job. Don't beat up on yourself. Failed. Don't beat up on yourself. You'll do it for me all as right. you just did. All right. Uh, we appreciate you uh, tuning in. Uh, also listen to, uh, as Sheridan mentioned, our mm -hmm. uh, radio show on uh, WordPress. Uh, no, I always screwed up. WRFALP.wordpress.com and click on the SoundCloud link. 
Um, all right, I'm Adam Courtright. I'm Sheridan. Stay active. I'm sorry, just, just a few more. I'm going to mess with the color temperature. That's all right. I'm just looking at some maps here. I've had a thing for maps. Very nice. Yeah. I wanna, I wanna make you look like you're alive. <laughs> Good luck. I gotta find the color temperature that gives you actual blood in your cheeks. I've caught a, a glimpse of my arms when I was leaving for the show, and I was, it's like, God, they're white. <laughs> How hard would it be? I thought you said you cut your arms, and I was expecting, and a puff of smoke came out. <laughs> and a genie appeared and said, "I grant you these wishes, three. Which is three. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Take off the shoes uh, what are you here. Thinking? It's kind of warm.